Hey there, creepers, creepettes, and all you other creatures tonight. Welcome back to Games of the Attic, where we're providing you human entertainment. Yes. For all of you humans. As humans do. But no, seriously, today we're playing The Babysitter's Club, the game. You can Hi. tell by the music. Yeah, look, look at this quaint uh, house. A little bit of fixer upper. Definitely got that goth style you expect from the Babysitter's Club. Well, they're trying to go for like a darker, edgier like feel this season. Oh, so this is gonna be the C a CW series. Yeah, I heard Chloe gets murdered and pregnant. Oh, wait, which one happens first? I don't know. You know what? I don't want to know. It's more interesting either way. It's Chrono Trigger. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, I think it would actually be less stressful if it was Chrono Trigger. Clo -clo clock. T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-T-
Miss Mary. Ellipses. Sure is taking a while. Do you have any good look for her? No, I'll look for her. Gah. It's coming from the main foyer. I think it's Wilhelm's wife. I scream, you scream. Guys, hey, stop joking around. Ellipses. Uh, now it's Wesker's time to disappear. Oh, just turn the lights on. Then, yeah, see like a billion roaches just scatter. I want the Resident Evil loading doors. Shut up, creepy. But no, seriously, do you not feel like? Look at these doors. You always think every game involving doors deserves a Resident Evil loading door. I think it's the best loading screen that was ever invented. Like, true story, bro. There are eyes in that window. Like, just eyes? Yeah. Are they attached to anything? Probably. But something's watching us. I always feel like somebody's watching me. And I get no privacy. With that Michael Jackson voice you just did. For a lot. The lights are out. I wonder, I wonder where the light switch is. <laughs> Let me start talking like that. I wonder where the light switch is. Is <laughs> over here. Oh, a box. It's empty. <gasps> Where's Brad Pitt's wife's head? It was supposed to be in the box. <laughs> oh, look, the, the pegs of chair are crying blood. Yeah. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> Pangs do that. They do. Trust me, I'm an artist. Oh, we're not going to watch the TV? Or pop a TV dinner in that microwave? I can't tell. They both look the same. It was a TV. Uh, ju judging by the decor, this predates microwaves. Yes. Built by George Trevor. <laughs> Back in 1967. God damn it. Commissioned by Lord Oswald E. Spencer himself. They say it's been abandoned for 50 years. But then... Why does it have power? And who's been smogging out the bathroom? Oh yeah, no, that was me. <laughs> I did something to cover the smell. Pong rip. <coughs> you open the shower, it's gonna be Tommy Chong. Hey man. <laughs> I'm just privacy, man. God. What are you doing in my house? This isn't your house. What? How did I get out of my house, man? And it's a, a mannequin. No, it's... Laura? Why are you just huh? hanging around? Oh, God! Scissors! My biggest fear! She's a... Is that... Is that like a child with scissors in like a little ventriloquist suit? He's I don't know, but... He's adorable. You would think he's adorable. Run! I'm trying. He's gonna stab you. Oh, God. Oh, what? Oh. I ran. What the fuck? <laughs> he does a little happy jig. <laughs> of course he does. He loves nothing more than to murder teenage girls. That was bullshit. With hatch clippers, nonetheless. Continue. Maybe this is like the Street Fighter, like, counting down. Da -da -da -da. Five. Four. Why didn't it run? Why didn't it run? Damn it! Go back my controller. <laughs> it's a cheating chip that the, the, that uh, PlayStation put it. Sony put it there. You gonna blame the cheating chip? Oh yeah, it exists, dog. I've seen schematics. My dad works for Sony. <laughs> we both uh, know that's not true, creepy. You don't have a dad. I uh, know. I simply congealed in the primordial ooze and why slithered my own way the out. The water seems to be running. Well, no shit. There's steam. You sure have steam? Looks like some pretty poor smoke to be, bro. Well, then how else are they going to fill the bong with water? 
obviously. You're gonna take a from. dump right now. I mean, I totally could. I just put, get out of here, you little pervert! I'll smack you. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, Laura, why are you hanging around? Blah blah blah. Out comes the scissor man. Well, I see you're tied up at the moment. <laughs> I'll leave. It's cut you a break with your little friend. How many punch? How many of these punch you got? Skizzer man's coming for you. All right, there we go. <laughs> shink, shink. I'm gonna cut off your toes. Just your toes. Your tippy, tippy toes. That is intimidating, right? Shink, shink. That's how you, Doctor Jones, took me to like, uh, like this little fair that was going on, and then there was. Like the people that kill, like, uh, what's who's in charge of killing animals? Hunters? No, like, uh, pest control, like, type. Oh. Like the official one? Oh, I'm not sure, actually. But they they had this lovely wagon of death. It was just like raccoon, dead raccoons, and beavers, and squirrels, and a bear, so and it, tigers, and bobcats, and like, just all dead taxidermy and stuff. And I was like, Dr. Jones, can we leave, please? And I and I honestly I imagine that upon seeing all this, your face looked like, well, this. <laughs> I Yeah, pretty much. I didn't I didn't want to see it. Now, had all those been like taxidermied people and like heads on mounted on walls, I'd been like, dope! This is the coolest shit ever! But no, I didn't like seeing all my friggin' uh uh-oh. Oh, a call? At this hour? Who could it possibly be? I'm not hearing anything. I heard a phone ring. I, there, I, there goes again. There, there it is oh again. wait, now I hear it. Now I hear it. <laughs> it's faint, that's why. I don't know that I want to answer that. Oh, come on. You don't want to talk to Spooky Face? No. What's your favorite scary movie, Jennifer? Showgirls. That's a horrible movie, and it's a horrible line you took from somewhere else. <laughs> That's a great line, and don't you dare talk bad about Paul Verhoeven. He knew what he was doing. I'm so scared. I just spoke it. What? what you, do you have the magic bowling ball from Mystery Men? With your dad's skull in it? Nope. It's full of bees! What happened? What? Oh. That happened. Oh, dude. Ah, I'm allergic to that water smoke. Ah. Oh, no, that's pesticide. Why does it look just like pot smoke then? <laughs> because it's, an, it's a 16-bit game, creepy. I'm just saying it looked identical to pot smoke in the bathroom. And also, you're... You think every smoke is pot smoke. Wait, they're not? <laughs> QED, sir. QED. Picked up insecticide. <laughs> I always feel like when I hear a word like insecticide, so I like, well, these bugs committed insecticide. You hear the yeah in the sunglasses. <laughs> horrible scene. They just stares off the sun. No into good. Sun. I can't climb it. This is what you get. For skipping gym class to go smoke marijuana in the girls' room. You say, "Well, get you it for you." Got a problem, thing. and your problem is that you're not sharing. What's over here? A secret. So wait, basically, they just put a bunch of cabinets in front of here, like so you. Oh, it's it has clothing inside. <gasps> what oh. kind of clothes are these? Why is this a Winnie the Pooh onesie? And why is the genitals cut out? Is is that an opening for a ball gag? I don't think that's a ball gag that goes in there. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Because I, I figured it might have just been a Winnie the Gimp suit. Right. I mean, it's along those lines. But... <laughs> It's not our place to judge. Oh, what, not at all. What our teacher not is at into. All. What our teacher and and uh, <laughs> excuse her better. Okay, because they're obviously a couple. Like they, like she brought us here, 
So he could chase us around with hedge clippers because that's what gets him hard. And then oh. they go and, like, you know, fuck, like, rabid bunnies. Can't maintain an erection without shopping for online shoes? No, he can't, he can't uh, contain a proper erection without chasing, like, uh, prepubescent teenage girls around a mansion with hedge clippers. It's just what does it for him. And, I mean, I know I said no kink shaming, but c- c- come on, guys. This is the, there's a line you gotta draw on. This is the line. I'm drawing it. <laughs> It's been drawn. <laughs> Where do we want to go? Shut up. Ask the helping hands. They always know. What is this? Oh, there are eggs and the rest of it is filled with rubbish. They found your stash. <gasps> Get away from my There's drugs! A key! Found a key inside the rubbish. Get away from my key! You stay stay stole my, my drugs! <laughs> stay out of my rubbish hole! It's a trifling bitch. She must be stopped. Scissor man, get her! Oh, now you're in for She's scissor. down this hallway, scissor man! She's stealing her drugs! You're horrible, you know that, right? Well, it's like. I didn't want to bring this up, but like, me and scissor man, like, with the high school together. <laughs> Back when God I was alive. Damn it. You know, he was all like, I feel like I want to chase people down with, like, something that's. You know, not the door day. I was like, we can't do chase all the other face guys that. You know, he was like, I know, but Freddy, that glove. I was like, you can't, you can't copy Freddy the glove. That's, dude, I mean, you're like, you're copying off of a bitch. He's like, well, what am I going to do? And I just like, I reached into my guard tool shed and I just pulled out a pair of hedge clippers like, this will do it. Especially since you're like three feet tall. These are like ginormous. And that's how scissor made, like, you know. Start killing underage women. You really do spout the, the most amazing bullshit. You know that, right? You can't prove it didn't happen. I mean, other than the fact that he's a fictional character? Right. Fictional. <laughs> That's what they want you to do. Did everything just go blurry? Or is that just me? <gasps> oh, Wilhelm's wife is still alive. Wilhelm's wife is still alive. We can save her. No, she did. Oh, that means another girl just got killed, huh? So that's two oh. dead girls! God damn it with a John Tron reference. <laughs> I like that she's looking it out like in the corner, like like watching somebody that's like clipping their toenails and eating their toenails. And she's like, uh I can't I just wanna look I can't. It's so just ew. <laughs> Like, gag me with a wooden spoon, Becky. Uh, I like this hallway. It's got a nice, nice uh, ambiance. Oh, yeah, no, it's, it's this color so that if it gets, the walls get sprayed with blood, you won't actually notice. It's easier to clean up that way. Absolutely easier. If you miss a spot, who cares? Nobody notices. <laughs> got a little bit of viscera there. Ah, no big deal. just blends right in. God, she walks so slow. Well, if I go fast, she's gonna. That's look true. We don't want. We don't want to get all <laughs> panicking and have a heart attack. And... Let's let's see if I stand still for a minute. If she'll rest. Sit, bitch. There it is. Hey, she's... shut up. <laughs> she just collapses like her head <laughs> smashes the floor. Turns out that she did get stabbed by Scissor Man earlier. We didn't even notice. <laughs> uh, no, serious. I'm gonna have a serious word with this kid's parents when they get home. <laughs> What parents? Oh, he killed his parents. Oh, oh. You're, talk- you're talking about Scissor Man. Uh, I feel like, like someone is watching me. I'm gonna get no privacy. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> and there's a creepy doll. That's what was watching there's a you? There's key on top. It's hanging upside down from a rope. And there's What's a that creepy sound. Doll. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, yes. No. Oh, no. Yes. Oh, it's alive. Yes. Oh, no. oh we got a Chucky situation. Burn him in fire. Yes. Run. Run, bitch. It's going to kill you. Run, it bitch. It won't open. <laughs> that dog's going to kill you. You're going to die. <laughs> oh, it's laughing. Everything's strobing out. Run, oh. I- Oh, you got knocked the fuck out by oh, no, no, no. Oh, You it survived. Worked. I survived because I panicked. I hit the I panic I thought that button. that doll seriously just like that, that's one the thing. shot headbutt you. <laughs> that's the thing, Creepy. Like, this game has a you button. It has a panic button. What? 
Yes. But I've been demanding a panic button and everything for full disclosure. Well, uh-huh. Uh huh. This is actually my first time playing this one. <laughs> really? Through. I've watched like a lot of YouTubers play it, you know, here in the attic by myself. And but I've never actually been involved in this one and I feel like a right has been wrong today. Like, uh you know, that makes sense. That makes sense. Like Scissor Man Bones can finally go to rest though and then, like <laughs> his good old friend Creepy, you know, played the game that was made to honor him. In mm-hmm. loving memory of Scissor Man. In the loving memory of Scissor Man? You have the weirdest, weirdest friends. You should have read his like high school entries. It's like Hero, Edward Scissor Hands. God and damn. Hitler. <laughs> He's a weird guy. Nobody likes Scissor. That, that's not weird. That's really fucked up. One of his heroes is Hitler. Well, not like Adolf Hitler. The other Hitler, the one that makes coffee. Albert Hitler. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh fuck. Scissorman's getting smarter. He's killed the light switches. Well, I mean, it's kind of par for the course. He kills. Doesn't this look like the room where, like, in Clue, where they all got their weapons and then <laughs> they shot Mister Body, and then we ran down the hallway like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see if we find a secret passage in the kitchen. Hmm. I doubt that there is, but okay. If we find the cook dead. We already got a head start and know what's going on. I've seen Clue like a million times. It's like, bro, Although, friends. on that note, we do have to go to the kitchen. I'm, I got The Shining. I predicted it. I said kitchen, and now I have to go to a kitchen. Creepy, you say kitchen like 20 times a day. I really want a sandwich. Can we go make a sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, these footsteps are just... I yeah, know it's it's, it. it's really it's a really good I effect. I know, but I just hear Niagara Falls. Slowly I turn, step by step, inch by inch. On the floor? No, let me have it. Okay. Uh, I always forget how how the rest of that goes. Actually, it's been a long time since I've seen the I Love Lucy episode. We did it for you. Just watch the fucking episode. Uh, <laughs> well, now I know. By the time the episode airs, I'm gonna know. Well, yes. Why is everything green? Are we sick? No. Are we being abducted by aliens? No, it's because I was running without being chased. But normally that makes it go orange or red. Yeah, if I do it too much, it goes from blue to green to orange to brown to red. So we're at a code green, right? Yes. Right now we're okay. Terror Alert Green. That's my favorite color of Terror Alert. Right. I don't know about Terror Alert, but okay. It's on Stan's fridge. An American Dad. The Seth MacFarlane cartoon. <laughs> with the talking Did goldfish. Did you say cartoon to re- to rhyme with your pronunciation of raccoon? Did I say raccoon? You said cartoon. Yeah, I was just just doing. Drunk. Don't break it down to his freaking molecules and atoms and I don't know what I'm saying or I doing. I wasn't trying to. I was just making sure that my hearing didn't like. Yes, I say words fuck funny. Off so that, oh no! Yeah. No, oh god, no! Right. If the little if the little girl doll, the fucking Victoria dress, just try to kill you, what the fuck are those sixteen gonna do? Okay. No, were those fine. like ladies or were those like mannequins? Those were mannequins. Why did, would anybody have sixteen of the same colored dress and? Blonde wig. That. Well, they clearly like playing dress up. Yeah, but you only need the one dress. You know? Oh, I never said it was for them. I like to take the girls that I stab with my scissors, and I like to comb and cut the hair and dress them up real pretty. Rubs lotion on the skin. <laughs> And then I put them on a string. Or else it gets those. And then I make them. I make them reenact that thriller dance. <laughs> all attached to strings, all dancing in my living room with me. Dude, you should see me with my little scissors. I'm a sexy little bitch. <laughs> Where the fuck is this voice coming from? That's what I want to know. Just making him scissor bad. Even though he looks like uh, the guitarist from ACDC. John Tron said that, I think it is. Angus Young. Yes, 
He looks like a tiny, pissed off Angus Young that wants to murder <laughs> teenage girls. Angus Young is clippers. tiny and always looks pissed off. But he doesn't want to murder teenage girls with hedge clippers. You have no proof of that. You can't prove he's not. Oh, no. But then again, you can't prove he, he is. I know, but Don't now, wrong. I love now every time I look at it, though, I'm going to, like, wonder. I'm like, my eyes are going to, like, squint. I'm going to look at it, I'm like, I've been stabbing bitches with fucking hedge <laughs> clippers. <laughs> I'm, I'm on you. you. Moved to a different city. Touring all the time. It's an easy cover. Uh-oh. What? The phone's ringing. I wonder who it is at this time of night. Wait, what time is it, even? I don't know. I don't know. What time do Scissorman's attack? Whenever they feel like. I didn't get the schedule. <laughs> Nobody sent me the memo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The good I news is we're nearly to the kitchen. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I know. Like I said, the, the pacing for the walking is ridiculously slow. Five hours later. <laughs> oh, God. We're halfway there. 13 hours later. Just the little... Oh, no, that's not right. That's this not right. Is, uh, oh, look, a shovel. shovel yeah. Shovel, 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 Which shovel, is fine shovel, if, you're, if, you know, Scissor Man pops up and we're going to panic. Oh, so we can just hit him in the face with a shovel? You know, why wouldn't we? He talks like Nikki. <laughs> we're letting... That's me now. <laughs> I used to talk normal too before my brother hit me in the face with a shovel. <laughs> Hi, my name is Nikki and I'm gonna kill all you suckers for no reason. I wanna watch little Nikki. Of course you do. It's been a minute. It's probably my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Mine's still Grandma's Boy. What, what are we doing with that Slinky. You mean the can of insecticide? Oh. We're just gonna poison all the food? <gasps> Brilliant! And then we feed the little creep at dinner time with the poison freaking food. Fire in the hole! <clears throat> or, you know, we kill all those that would have killed us. That's a lot of bugs. Uh huh. How'd you know they were in there? It's been a while, but I've played this game before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, this house is very okay. What kind of teacher brought us here? What the fuck is her motive in all this? She has to be part of it. There's no way she dragged us here to this house that has like bleeding fucking paintings and fucking killer bugs and flying possessed dolls and children with scissors dressed in fucking <laughs> little suits, little sh short pants suits. Yeah, I mean that's that's you know not inaccurate. I'm just saying, our teacher's totally fucking sus, man. Indeed. I'm gonna rip off her mask when this is all over. I mean, like, watch you're gonna try and rip off a mask, and it's just gonna wind up being skin. <laughs> oh man, Jenkins! I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you damn babysitters. Let's clown. see who's under this mask. A skull. I knew it. Skeletons did it. Racist. Mystery solved. I'm not racist against skeletons. I told you, they just belong in the ground. That's where skeletons belong. Dude, you can't say that you shit. You can. Because you that's can't where, say that that's shit. That's where skeletons are supposed to be. Says the undead cryptid. Yes, I'm not a skeleton. But I'm, you're not supposed to exist. I still got organs. You're a crime against nature. I guess. I'm an abomination. So therefore, skeletons the can exist outside the ground. No. Yes. There are rules. Yeah, well, you're being racist. No, I'm not. First off, skeletons aren't a race. Neither are cryptids, but you're still a cryptid. That's what you are yeah, as, as a race. I'm just, I'm undead. I fall under the general undead classification. What the fuck is that sound? It's the phone again. Yeah. I'm not going to answer it, though. Oh, you got to answer. It's going to drive me insane. Answer. Zelda's going insane. She's like, answer the fucking Zelda's phone. Zelda's going insane because you're acting like you are. Come here, Zelda. It's okay, Zelda. Baby, come here. It's come okay. Here. Come it's here, okay. Here, puppy dog. All right. <laughs> You give me a bit of. We're, we're, I have to calm my dog. <laughs> she just falls on her knees so dramatically. It's like I'm so done with today. Fucking <laughs> get punched in the face with a doll. Fucking midges chasing me with scissors. His phone keeps ringing. Where the fuck is his phone? She doesn't care about the phone. Where I don't the care fuck about the phone. Is it? Oh, they finally hung up. Yeah. See. 
They're not that persistent, which means it's not important. <laughs> uh, Duh. Caught again. Uh, okay, that's not We've right. been trying to contact you about your extended warranty on your Fine, vehicle. I'll, 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 I'll move a little bit faster. <gasps> Congratulations! You've won a stay at the Holiday Inn. Mm. Yeah, actually, you've won it. a free Carnival Cruise! All we need is your tax information. A lot of you actually, it's just like... Hello there, Jennifer. What's your favorite scary movie? Showgirls. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course. Can it come with the old non-scary scary movie? I would have said something like, I don't know, uh... Ashley and Mary Kay Olsen's go to Auschwitz. You've never actually seen a Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen movie, have you? No. Okay. I made sure of that. Not sir. If it was bad enough that I had to watch the occasional episode of Full House where there was nothing else on when I got home from school. It was like, either that or, you know, do homework, be productive. Oh, no. Maybe chores. But no. Gotta watch these freaking this Tanner family. Oh no, how awful! You I have mean, to watch a sitcom. Yeah, you know, it's all like cut it out. You know, you just have to. God. <laughs> yeah. Horrible. Dave Coulier, the bad Peter Bank. Ah, oh, things are falling. Yeah, but if it wasn't for Dave Coulier, we wouldn't got we wouldn't have gotten like half the Atlantis more set songs we did. Seriously, those are all about him. Well, at the very least. uh... I'm surprised. You, sh- you ought to know. I'm surprised that none of her songs were about one. <laughs> God damn it. Why would her songs be about wood? I don't know. Because like, cause she's Canadian? Ka. No. Stereotypical. Jeez. I was actually talking about because it was a stupid wood. I know. Puppet. I know. I was making fun of you. I like puppets. I'm sure you do. They're fine until they get a filthy hand up them. Aha. Where is this? Success. You found go. a plank of wood. I did indeed. Congratulations. The, the first floor can be seen through the gap. There's a gap in this building? I want to go there. I want to shop for clothes. <laughs> I heard they were having a sale down at the gap. Pop, pop. Hope no one sees me getting freaky. Yeah, that reminded me right there of Quop's oh. party. Whoa. Everybody. Is that wall made of blood? I think that's a, it's supposed to be a painting. I bet rest, this scissor man's going to jump through it. Mm. That's a possibility. Okay. Why do they have two of this identical statue? Shouldn't one of them... If you're going to have two of this statue, would you like want one with the you know, opposite arm raised up? I mean, that would make sense, yes. <laughs> They're all just like... Power to the people. <laughs> I think perhaps it's supposed to be like a symmetry puzzle where you move the painting over, but I don't know right Another now. pushing puzzle. This is where all the pushing puzzles came from. Yes. Push a box. In fact, this Get is, a shiny item. This With this game being released in 1995, it's probably one of the first survival horror games. Yeah, but Sweet Home's got to have it beat out. Sweet Home was what year? Oh, God. <laughs> well, that doesn't help us right now. It was a long time. Was, uh, you really had to do the sound effect with your mouth? Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe you just know. Uh, weird would know. Uh, me and Weird have this weird way of communicating, like, through sounds. You mean, like, saying, put it on the screen? Yeah, well, that... Sometimes I have to make sounds and weird motions and nods and, and grumbles and grunts and urgles. Have you had an urgle before to communicate? No. Weird does. So, all right, anyways, what was I saying? Something about Sweet Home? Oh, Sweet Home was, uh, it was the Nintendo era. Okay, so would have been Fabricom. before this, but not actually, it could have been concurrent because they were still releasing games for the Famicom in Japan when they started releasing games for Super Nintendo. It was... It was... I want to say like 8789. Oh. 
Then, yeah, no, I'd beat it by a bunch. I said one of the first because I was thinking of Sweet Home. So, yeah, Sweet Home. And Maniac the- Mansion. Oh, yeah. Sweet Home and then uh, well, Alone in the Dark and would be the next one to follow. Well, suit. Must have been like fourth then because this was 95. That was, yeah, Resident Evil was 95. I thought Resident Evil was like 96. Japan, 95. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. But yeah, it took place in the far off year of 1998. I loved it. Because <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I was roughly like 12, 13. So it's like, it's 1998. I'll be like 17. Go to eight. I could be the same age as Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you immediately thought of, huh? But yeah, that's that was the thing. It's like me and Rebecca are roughly the same age. Mm, okay. Yes, she was 18 years old in Resident Evil 1998. She's like a year or two older than me, mm-hmm. actually. So me having a crush on Rebecca Chambers isn't weird. You're justifying it an awful lot for, for it not being weird, you know. But it's only because you've given me so much shit for it in the past. <laughs> I didn't even give you shit. You automatically started justifying it. And well, you know what they say. Doing, we are doing a, a, you know, a show to talk to people. I know, I know. So, yeah, because they didn't know. But, you know, it's it's like they said in that one movie. Put it on the screen. What, mo- what movie did Weird put there? Don't tell Weird to do stuff. I'll He's tell a weird. horrible, abominational clone of you and Christian Stiffen. Creatures. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Say that again. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. A little clear. Are you and like something creatures of different, various unknown origins? Did you take me and in, in a hot dog and combine it together? Oh, a hot dog, an anglerfish, a that shark. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of the, the the old ones DNA that I had in a test tube from uh, back in the old era. Why do you have the old ones DNA in a test tube? And I'm not sure what I know, but what did you do to get said DNA? You don't want to know. But it doesn't okay. matter. It's like, you know, who knows what you want to, like, clone up, you know, an ancient one from uh, some Cthulhu stem cells. <laughs> <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> On with the show. Is this the kitchen? Wait, we already did the kitchen. You sucked up. You didn't even go into the fridge. You left all that meat there. Oh, but it was full of bugs. Yes. But you got rid of the bugs. And I got the key. Oh, but it was poisoned with that insecticide. And then I got the key. We're good. What did we do with the eggs? We should have made. Oh, the eggs are probably probably like destroyed. Did wait? Oh, you're talking about the bird eggs? Yeah, that we got in the nest that was in the hallway for some fucking reason. The eggs near my rubbish hole. You know, when you say rubbish hole like that. It doesn't make it sound like it's a bird's nest filled with rubbish. It literally makes it sound like you're talking about your butthole. No, it's like I have a secret lair. The, the, the attic is just full of trash and refuse and rubbish. And it's They're like antique t- No. <laughs> Leave my butthole out of this conversation, good sir. You first. What? I didn't even bring up a butthole. You just said rubbish hole. That's all I'm saying. That rubbish meaning trash. You're trying to say the stuff trash. that comes that comes out of your butthole is not trash. No, that is actually fertilizer that feeds the plants nutrients. Ah, and gives you fruits so if you speak things. scientifically about it, which I know you do, then it would be the leftover trash of what we eat. No, because there's still nutrients in it. In fact, it's believed that dinosaurs and, uh, and many animals actually eat their own excrement. To get the second source of the trees that they missed through the first pass. Gross. Science, bitches. The more you know. Science is disgusting. Yes. Oh, you're going to talk when you living human creatures shoot DNA at each other to make babies. Do not quote the bender, the bender to the me, sir. The man spoke the truth at that moment, and I will. What man? He's a robot. But he was a robot man. And then it was he had a, a man sex bot. There's a difference. Then he had a sex change. And was a fem bot for a little bit, yeah, yes. Twice, I think. No, just the once. No, there was the episode where everybody got switched. That wasn't a, that wasn't by choice. That was like literally just a gender swap. It was still a gender. female twice. Mm. 
Damn it, creepy I'm stop. Get the fuck down this hallway. You did it. <laughs> you haven't seen old Scissor Man in a while. Yeah, it's because we haven't triggered a se sequence where he would show up. Okay. Violence. Let's let it rest for a minute. See if I can't get my bearings here. Okay. <laughs> Just throw myself to the ground. Oh, all right. This room, if you see black and white tile on the floor, the dogs are going to jump into the window. You really do still think this is Resident Evil, don't they're you? They're all Resident Evil. But they're in a creepy house. Resident Evil taught me everything I know, need to know about surviving horror. And except you for keep like, entering it. Except for like, you know, that time that I died from horror. <laughs> so, you know, you, you, did, you can't really say that you learned your lesson all that well, can you? Well, like, I didn't die again. <laughs> So I guess you could say I did learn my lesson. But didn't you study it before you died? Yes. And then you died? Yes. So up to that point, you didn't really learn your lesson all that well, I haven't died a second time. Yet. No. You but can't you also don't like... it's already dead. But you also don't go anywhere. Tell it to vampires, sir. I go everywhere. I'm just in the attic. Yeah, you don't step foot outside the but attic. The attic, attic point. goes everywhere. Like, it's kind of like a spaceship. But it stays in one place and moves everywhere at the same time. Okay, but even if it was a spaceship, normally someone who normally would have a spaceship would normally travel outside of that spaceship to look around. I do! Whereas you pop your head down and say, hey, does this smell like chloroform to you? Sometimes. But sometimes and then I, sometimes somehow seemingly drag me and Dr. Jones... Still don't understand how you managed that up into the attic. It's crypt, you know, that cryptid crazy strength that you get when you're being a monster. Mm -hmm. It only happens when I'm monstering out, though. Oh, you know what? This is no, the right way. But I'm okay, saying, cool. like, I have to climb down out of the attic, you know, chloroform y'all, or find other unique and interesting ways to knock you all out without y'all knowing it. Like, you know... Like if you go out on for like a first date or you're in a job interview and I just like pop up from behind it's like what would make you get, feel good about this job and make you valuable to the team? I just pop up behind the chair and chloroform you, drag you away. I was like, you're hiring him. <laughs> like grab you by like one leg and then like do a one of those like monster leaps from like the floor all the way like upside down to the ceiling and then just like scuttle like across the ceiling all creepy like and then into the that. The scuttle hatch, which is actually what all attic uh, portals are called. A scuttle hatch? They're all scuttle hatches. Oh. That's, that's what makes the, uh, the attic here so unique and interesting, is that it's a pocket dimension tethered to all the scuttle hatches across the world. You're ridiculous, you know that? Dude, Santa wishes he had my scuttle hatch. You, he wouldn't even have to get in the sleigh. He would just, like, hop out of the attic. Hop out the attic. Hop out the attic. God has nothing to do with this place. No, seriously. This house right here? Dude, the paintings are bleeding, and this dolls are attacking us. No. Mm. I mean, if we walked out front, the lawn gnomes would chase us with pitchforks. Be all... Violent esque at us. Okay, so I believe if we, yeah, okay, so we, that's what it was. Okay, we do go across the plank here. <laughs> Are you from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? No. I was say, Jimmy would be very, be very upset. Okay. So I'm pretty sure the scissor bed is going to pop out that wall. The weird. The at weird one looks like it's painted in blood. Trying the homicidal maniac has been busy here. And oh, the blood oh finally, the blood I found the right place. Okay, cool. The purple room? And it's a storage room. This is where Twisted hangs. Let's see. The light switch is broken. Oh, of course, because this has got smart. He's just walking around stabbing light switches now. Okay. Oh, you did. You, you carried away. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. <gasps> you got a pet cat now? I don't know about pet. We're gonna name him Silas. Dude, don't get attached to the cat. Oh no, Toby! Scissor man's gonna kill the cat. Probably with scissors. Probably. I mean, would it really surprise you? He starts talking to us like Binks from <laughs> Hocus Pocus. You got to stop the Sanderson witches. A lot of expensive paintings have been stacked here. Let's see. Ah, here we go. That's strange. This part of the wall is a different color to the rest of it. This episode of Baby Search Club is intense. Or <laughs> <laughs> Sabrina the Teenage Witch here. That's Salem. We're mm. into some wacky magical shenanigans wacky on the Disney Channel. Wacky magical shenanigans, yes. Okay. I don't know it was like ABC. That like, she looks like, so, like she's watching somebody like stand on her like table in her dining room and just like piss into her freaking frosted flakes while she's sitting there about to eat them. She's like, oh god, I was gonna eat those. The wall frosted. seems to have been replastered for some reason. There are cracks in it and it looks like it'll collapse. <gasps> crack, 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 crack. <laughs> Bunch of fiends burst. And now you have a whole new kind of problem. Oh, do we just gotta okay. punch it? I don't think so. Oh. Hit. Nope, because there's a pipe. Oh, word. Pass that shit. Not that kind of pipe. <laughs> You're gonna get in such trouble. Teacher! Yennefer burnt the wall! I see Yennefer burnt the wall! There's a room on the other You're side. You're gonna get the kitchen! You're in so much trouble. Ooh. Why do you keep calling her Yennefer? Because it's... I don't remember where I heard that. It's funny. Oh. Somebody, a foreign person say Jennifer. No, that would be this. Ah. Yes. I wonder how long that it thing. hasn't been used for... They're stuffy and heavy. Like, if her name was Penelope, I'd be saying Penelope. So. Which is awfully close to penis. Have you ever seen Club Dread? Yes, I have. Like, once. <laughs> Penelope, they were stabbing the dick at everyone. <laughs> what is this okay. room? Uh, let's see. Is that I got changed? Seems to be a medical record. Two newborn babies are the patients listed. Twinsies. Oh, dude, is that a corpse in the corner with a saw and a leg missing? I doubt it. This looks awfully like one of Jigsaw's rooms. If it, it, it looks like a medical record. Hey. The patient's name is listed as Mary Burroughs. That's the name of the master of the house. Wait, that's her teacher? A teacher's Mary Burroughs? Mary. <laughs> Mary, Mary. Burroughs. Where are you going to? Let's see. What I... A black leather medical bag. Oh, this looks so good That's with a my name shoes. name you're inside. Walter Simpson. Walter Simpson, F father. Oh shit! They killed your dad. Is that your dead dad right there? That is her dead dad. Papa, no! Sorry, sorry. Red line the damn mic. I know. I meant to look up when I said it. The corpse is grasping a piece of paper in its hand. It appears to be a memo. Pick up milk. Eggs, bacon, cheese, and hemorrhoid cream. 11 10 1986. I am Dr. Walter Simpson. It has been three days since I was trapped within this room. I know that I won't have long now. But before the end, I must record it all. Those twins will be a blight to this world. I was brought here to this mansion for the sake of the wife's delivery. What she brought into this world, though. Not two boys, but the spawn of the devil. El Diablo. Shortly after their birth, they both devoured my right hand. However, their bodies were deformed and they won't be able to function properly. 
I can only hope that they'll let it last any longer than three days at most. If they were to continue to live, they must be killed no matter what. If they aren't stopped, then they will bring chaos onto the world. Breathing is painful. Tell me about it. The air in this room is running out. There's no air left. Within a cradle under a star are the two boys sleeping a dark slumber. Jennifer. Jennifer. Lucifer. Jennifer. <laughs> oh, man, dude. It cracks me up, man. I love this funny stories like that. They get my tech bone. <laughs> Look at her just hugging that skeleton. Well, yeah, it's her dead dad. <sighs> now she can go put him in the ground where he belongs. Mm. Or she just starts dancing around the room. Maybe she cracks and starts like, you know, Father. Now she's probably you've just lost gonna leave. I'm proud of you. And she's like working this skull. Like, it's like you look great, Jennifer. I'm so proud of you. You're gonna go to a great college. Tell your mother I love her. You're ridiculous. You know that. But I don't even remember being ridiculous to begin with. Let alone a second. Oh. Okay. Oh, <gasps> shit! Did he kill the cat? No, I think the cat's okay. But now he's chasing. Yeah, but he's like, he walks at the speed of a toddler. I love this music. It's like somebody's car alarm going up. That's all my car alarm sound like. <laughs> We all know it's really Michael Winslow. <laughs> Alright. Oh, now we have the tinkles with the... Oh, oh. I, think I, I think I might be able to rest down here for a minute. I'm not gonna lie, this soundtrack kicks! It does, indeed. Just isn't that. Put this at the club. <laughs> Yo. With the blood spray for the ceilings and start like, you know, killing all the humans, drinking the necks and stuff, having a good old time till that dude that's, asshole that's Blade the, shows up. Yeah, that, I was gonna say that you, you stole it from Blade. No, that, like those things exist. They happen. You never, you've never been to like a vampire nightclub? No, I have not. All right, it, it's pretty much the same rules if you go to like an insane clown posse concert. Like, whatever you're gonna wear, just know you're gonna be like soaked <laughs> by the time you get out. Yeah. yeah. So bring change of clothes. And, uh. Yeah, have fun. Goggles are helpful. Mm. <laughs> Though I would assume those would kind of be ruined, uh, you know. Goggles? That'd be clean too. Oh, uh oh. I hear the shinks. Well, the scissor man cometh. Then it's time to cheese it. Oh, ah, shit! Not ah, right ah, into ah. his trap! Oh, 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 oh! Smack him! Nah! Oh! Oh, that's ah. bull crap! I, I want to know what music he's hearing in his head when he's doing his little jig there at the end. That's intense. Oh, Zelda, it's okay, puppy. It's so okay. we just ran right into him. Zelda, it's okay, puppy. Go lay down. Go there, baby. It's okay. Puppy dog. The scissor man's not real. He can't get you, puppy dog. It's okay. Sorry about that, folks. After a brief Scooby Doo montage of us running through the doors, scissor man ran through the doors, and uh, then a, ban a banana ran through the doors, and uh, and then Mary, and then the dead lady, and, and then for that. some reason Davy Jones from the monkeys, and then the Scooby Doo, and then the Globe Trotters, and then Don Knotts, and then uh, the Globe Trotters again for some reason, and. Uh, then and, we, and, and then, then we, and then the minor forty nine are on top of Scooby Doo. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> then we lost them. So here we are. So uh, while we have this brief pause to uh, calm down, girl, sit down, relax, breathe. <laughs> well, that's what I'm trying to get her to do. <laughs> there it there goes. There we go. All right, and we'll do the same, and we'll finish this next time on Games in the Attic, <laughs> where we will take on. Edward Scissorman. What was his name? Bobby. Bobby Scissorman? No, his name is Bobby Burroughs. 
Bobby Scissorman Burroughs. I like it. <laughs> Keep it creepy. Sure, if you want the Scissorman in quotation. <laughs> Later. Good dog.